Hi there, students. Strong arm. Yeah, strong arm. Well, not really. OK, to strong arm as a verb. Strong arm as an adjective with a hyphen as well. So let's see, very often strong arm tactics, strong arm methods. OK, this is to use threats of violence or to use violence. So strong arm, strong arm tactics, tactics, using threats and violence to uh, make people do what you want them to do. Do it or I'll hit you. That's str strong arm tactics. That's the strong strong arm method. Yeah, it's being aggressive. Um, the police used strong arm tactics uh, to uh, break up the demonstration, to strong arm somebody into doing something. Um, the leader strong armed his followers into doing exactly what he told them to do to coerce yeah to coerce somebody to get somebody to do something by threats of physical violence or by physical violence itself yeah to force someone or a group to do something by exploiting your position of power um, the uh, Prime Minister strong-armed the uh, members of the party to vote with him even though they didn't agree with him. Yeah, they, he forced them to do it. Yeah, um, the, uh, the company strong-armed me out, uh, uh, out, they sacked me using strong-arm tactics. Yeah, the, they threatened me, uh, they used lawyers to get rid of me. And yes, I could have uh, hired a lawyer, but it was going to cost me thousands, just easier to find another job. Um, okay, yes, um, for example, with this, these cookies, they try to strong arm you into accepting the cookies in, uh, on a website. Yeah, to try to force somebody to do something. Um, let's see, if you strong arm people into doing things, they will do it, but it's not going to work. It's much better to persuade people to do things. So maybe a carrot and stick method where you say, would you like to do this? It could be really interesting. And if that doesn't work, then try the strong arm tactics. You don't want to do it? Well, come here then. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the idea of to strong arm somebody, to, to strong arm somebody into doing something. Um, yeah, you, d you don't ask them nicely, yeah? The bouncers strong-armed me out of the club. Okay, so let's see, it's, this is to bully, to use your, a position of power unfairly, to coerce, yeah? They m are, uh, strong-armed their way into the market because they were a big multinational company. They muscled in. Yeah, so it's to use strength, to use power, using you using your position of strength. Um, okay, so to strong arm. Um, yeah, we got the money back without having to use strong arm tactics. Um, okay, so um, to use very often your position of power. So the chairman of the meeting strong armed uh, the other people to the, the other members of the board to vote with him. Yeah, he was threatening to do nasty things to them. So not necessarily by violence, but uh, this is a bit like blackmail. Either do, do this or I'll do something nasty to you. Yeah, so to strong arm somebody into uh, doing something. Yeah, okay, so to strong arm. Um, formality, that's an interesting one. I think I'm actually going to give it a five in formality. I think you could use it anywhere. I know it sounds informal, but I think I would even use this phrase strong arm tactics, strong arm method, even in something very formal. So use it anywhere. And then, well, as to origin, well, it comes from strong 
arm yeah um let's see the word strong comes from proto-germanic strangas meaning tight straight or strong from proto-indo-european streng uh stiff or tight yeah so strong yeah so strong arm tactics if you try to use strong arm tactics with kids it doesn't work. You need to persuade them that this is good for them and you need them to want it and that works wonderfully. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Strong arm. Strong arm tactics.